Okay, so on to question two. Which should be the stronger acid, um, HOCN or HCN? Explain briefly. Okay. So let's write the structure of both of these acids. So the difference is that one of them has an OH group. And because of this oxygen atom, since it is more electronegative than the hydrogen, it induces a positive charge on our hydrogen atom. So we can also show where the partial charges would be. So because there's a positive charge on this hydrogen atom, uh, this makes it more readily removed when you place it in the water. Uh, so therefore, HO0N is the stronger acid. So I'm just going to write down my explanation. So because oxygen is more electronegative, this induces a positive charge on the H atom making it more readily removed. when placed in water. Okay, and if we look at the carbon and hydrogen bond, um, it doesn't have that same effect since carbon and hyd hydrogen have similar electronegativity values. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, they use a different approach using the Ka values. So the Ka is also the acid dissociation constant. So let's see what they said. The strength of the, ac uh, the acidity of a compound is determined by the ability of the compound to release its acidic hydrogen. Yep, so that's correct. And the bigger that value of Ka, the stronger the acidity of the compound. In this case, HOCN has a higher value of Ka, which concludes that it is a stronger acid than HCN. Yes, yeah, so that is correct as well. In the case of both, the acidic hydrogen is connected differently between the two compounds. The acidic hydrogen is of HOCN is connected with the oxygen, which is an electron withdrawing atom. Basically, the acidic hydrogen can be easily released. On the other hand, the acidic hydrogen in HCN is connected to carbon, which is an electron donating atom, uh, to hydrogen, which makes it harder for the hydrogen to be released. Yep, so they showed both approaches. So this solution is correct.
Okay, so I just kind of rewrote what I said already. Thank you. 